Oh, buddy. You finally made it. You got your own private filmer. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, everybody, and welcome back to another set of Days Off. Getting sick of these fairy shots yet? Because I'm not. Each ride over is virtually the same, but the cloud formations and sunsets remain unique. Maybe it's due to the fact that I'm spending roughly 190 per week in ferry commuting expenses, but I'm trying to get my money's worth with these world-class views. The weather has been less than ideal the last few days, but it turns out I'm going diving. Meeting up with uh, Brian, it's uh, 8 a.m. right now. We're gonna head out to Port Alberni and scout some new terrain. Uh, so it's gonna be a fun day. Uh, the wind is uh, pretty intense. West Coast Island was 35 knots, but seems to have died down. Sun's out, some rainbows in the sky, so hit the road. Brian took his truck for this one, as my front wheel van has some serious limitations. The weather was crazy. Sun one second, followed by torrential downpours and even moments of snow. We caught a couple rainbows, some were so close we could practically smell the pot of gold. We made it to our destination safely, and what a view we were greeted with. We came over on the ferry on Saturday, and the weather was really crappy. Uh, so Sunday didn't bother diving. Uh, I was going to take uh, Sela and the kids to the pool, but it was closed down. So, note to self, check the schedule before you promise your kids you're going to take them out to the pool. Uh, Sela was bummed out again. But yeah, here with Brian, uh, checking out this dive spot. The visibility isn't looking the greatest, but super scenic drive out here. Uh, nice being a passenger. Thanks, Brian, for driving. I uh, just hopped in his truck. We went on a dirt road. My van struggles. But we're going to explore. Apparently, there's a shipwreck at this location and a nice wall with some wolf eels. Hopefully, the visibility holds it down. I saw a tree, and the kid in me said it needed climbing. Yeah, it's looking like zero visibility. Hopefully under the uh, murk, it's a bit better. Ah, oh, whatever. Roll with the punches. Brian and I have been getting lucky. We've been uh, finding these dive spots with facilities, showers, you know, places to change and get warm after. Doesn't get any better than this. Yeah, we just geared up. It's hailing now. The weather's intense. I think the viz might be okay though, fingers crossed. How are you liking this, man? Luca? It. Despite the bad weather and crappy looking viz, it was a long drive out, so Brian and I jumped in with our fingers crossed. I'll be honest, the stormy weather was kind of fun. When you dive in BC, you have to go in with low viz expectations. Crystal clear water is nice, but it's far from the norm. Sometimes if you're lucky, you can hold your breath long enough to get under the murk and clear water emerges. The downside, light has a hard time penetrating, so diving with a powerful torch is a must. I was pleasantly surprised by how clear it was past eight meters or so, and also by the amount of life. Schools of perch, yellowtail, and black rockfish, awesomeness. Brian contributed some more footage for this edit. You can see how dark it truly was. I thought I had more footage to work with than I really did, but I still managed to catch a few decent shots. Plus, I saw this thing. I don't recall seeing one of these before, so if you get an ID, help a brother out. On the way in, we decided to take a gander on looking for the shipwrecks in the area. I got lucky and located one on the first drop. It wasn't anything special, just a small log blooming boat. It was fairly shallow, so Brian and I did a few tandem drops. Thanks again for the footage, Brian. So cool to share multiple perspectives. There wasn't much life lurking, but exploring was still fun. Here. Let me return the favor, Brian. I hope I didn't blind you. Brian dropped his GoPro, and despite all odds, he found it on the first attempt. So lucky. Another dive in the books. 
A trip to Port Alberni wouldn't be complete without a stop at the donut shop. The best donuts on Vancouver Island. Well priced to top it off. <laughs> so I was like, I was like, oh, well. which one do you want, Taylor? That's the one that you get. Look at those fancy donuts. So delicious. You said donut. You said donut, buddy. No, no. Oh yeah. Good job, man. This is so good. You got a skateboard? Reefy. You go skateboarding. Here at Parksville Beaches, just gonna go for a little skateboard. You gonna do skateboarding, Sailor? No? Yeah, you don't have a helmet, so that would be unsafe. But yeah, I'm gonna roll it around. Been here once in the summertime. It's a beautiful park. I see people out here kite surfing. Uh, a little bit stormy in the distance, but hopefully the weather holds it down and we don't get caught in the rain. But yeah, I'm gonna roll around, walk around the beach, and uh, have some fun. Ready? Yeah. I love the type of sport you do with people but the journey is a relatively solo one. Skateboarding, boxing, and freediving all fit within that realm. I'm not the skateboarder I used to be, but it feels good to brush off the dust and jump back on a board from time to time. The older I get, the more I feel all those previous injuries, but no regrets. So many great friends and memories were made. Oh, we're going down. See, I like it. I hope everyone enjoyed the edit. The next month is going to be a busy one, so stay tuned. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace and love.